Hello there, guys. It's a beautiful, warm, sunny day in Yiwu, China. And I'm just going for a very short walk outside of my comp apartment complex. Because I want to show you a typical Chinese corner shop. And we've got one basically right beside the main gate to our complex. So we're just going to go out there now. Um, I think it's interesting because, well, it's interesting for a few reasons. One is that in China you can get the 7-Eleven and other kind of chain shops that are much more familiar to, to you guys in the West, but there's still a lot of sort of private enterprise, small business in China. And once you get out of the centers of the big cities in China, you'll find these very typical sort of mom and pop, self-owned, self-run shops, which is where we're gonna go right now. So yeah, you can see on the sign, it's even got a bit of English, supermarket. I wouldn't really qualify it as a supermarket, it's more just a little corner shop. But here it is. And again, I think this one, it's the one right near my house, so I'm not choosing it for any particular reason other than I know the owners and they, they've said they don't mind me filming in here. But I think it's quite a typical one in terms of just what's available inside. Um, what kind of stuff they've got for sale. So let's go in and, and have a look. Ni hao, ni hao, ni hao. Oh, scared of the foreigner. So yeah, so here we are inside and I'm gonna just sort of walk you through all the various sections of what's available. And I guess we'll just sort of start from the, from the back corner. Now, almost every corner shop I've been to is almost like a bit of a general store. So you can see here, in the back of the shop, usually we've got some typical sort of plastic housewares, uh, buckets, soap, cleaning products. And then also here we've got like a tiny little mini stationery shop. So you've got a few different little paper goods, paper clips, notebooks, tape, then let's see what comes around when we come around to the back corner here. We've got, again, it's sort of a little houseware section. So you've got um, some glasses, some cups, plates, stuff like that. And even a bit of electronics, some extension cords, very basic little tools, screwdrivers. So there, in the back of, you know, the back half of the shop is basically like a little tiny mini department store. Um, here on this aisle, you've got, again, this is sort of kitchen wares. You've got some pots, some pans, rice cookers, electric kettles. A rice cooker and an electric kettle is the key equipment for your kitchen in China. And then here, We've got the sort of, we're starting to come into the food section and they always have a fairly extensive, um, I guess you'd just call this sort of Chinese sauces aisle. So you can see what we've got here is about, it seems like about 10 types of different soy sauce. You know, for, for me as a Westerner, I've heard of, you know, sort of dark soy sauce and light soy sauce, but here they've got a million different kinds of soy sauce basically for a million different specific applications but yeah you've got soy sauce some different sort of hot sauce a few types of vinegar and then a lot of these kind of spicy pickle type of things and yeah hard to find mustard heart oh mayonnaise they generally do have but mustard not really available generally not very common anyway in China. And so then the next section here, they've got the sort of snack aisle. And again, this is really, you know, this is quite specifically Chinese. They're very much into dried fish and dried meat. So you'll see they've got, I think this is, this is bits of dried duck, you know, sort of, uh, you know, sort of sealed in a plastic bag. 
some dried duck. Um, they usually have squid as well. I think this is some kind of fish sticks, spicy fish sticks. And yeah, I'm not seeing the actual squid. Here they've got um, chicken feet, marinated chicken feet in a plastic pack in case you want to snack on some chicken feet, um, some chicken wings, and yeah, just all, oh, here you've even got some nice, it looks like sort of barbecued chicken wings in a, in a plastic pack, duck or duck or chicken leg here. But you can see it's quite, it's interesting to me because it's fairly extensive, a whole row of, of dried and salted meat available in plastic. This is actually, this is something pretty weird. This is a, an egg, and I'm not quite sure, to be honest, if it's sort of a pickled egg or a preserved egg. I know they also sell this one. This is like the, if you've heard of the thousand year egg, this is a, quite a, quite a, a sort of a heavily fermented or heavily spiced egg. But again, a single egg peeled in a plastic pack. So that's kind of weird, regular, and the thousand year old. Here we've got uh, an individual chicken foot that you can that you can buy and eat. So and all of your snacking needs met here. Any kind of dried meat, dried, salted, shredded, they've got it all here. And again, this is like, as I said, this is just very typical. The layout and uh, stuff that's available here in this shop um, this is what you would see in any kind of mid-range area of China. Not the very best, you know, you'd see 7-Eleven or other fancy shops in the middle of a downtown. I'm sure off in the village they wouldn't be quite as, as nicely supplied as these guys. Now, here we've got... Um, this is basically the noodle soup type of line, and again they've got quite a quite a bit of variety of the of the prepared noodle soup uh, here's here's another pretty funny thing again this is very popular is the the plastic wrapped hot dog of various types and again for a snack you can have this kind of little little hot dog this is pretty much like a traditional hot dog um, yeah, they just they just wrap unwrap the plastic and eat it like that Here's some kind of little short One Not sure what the difference is there, but you can see quite a variety of that one Maybe that one's with cheese or something salt sugar and plastic wrapped individual hot dogs here, these, the snacks in this row might seem a little more normal to you guys, but uh, again, very typical. They've got a row of sort of dried nuts and fruits. So you can see here, we've got the typical sort of dried cashews or dried cashews, almonds, peanuts, pistachios. And then some some dried fruits. I'm really not quite sure what those are. Oh, and here here is the squid that I was missing in the other row. The squid is here. So you've got dried and shredded squid. Ni hao. <laughs> Ni hao. You've got dried and shredded squid. I guess that's regular and spicy. And again, some more uh, sort of a beef jerky. It's not particularly good. It's pretty dry. Plungers toothbrush and toothpaste some different hair conditioning stuff and then here back in the front of the shop so here's the the juice aisle juice and alcohol actually so this one might be a little more familiar a little more like a traditional uh, typical Western shop you've got uh, Oh, all just different tea, a lot of different kinds of tea, um, bottled water, a few different juices. Of course, you need Coca Cola. And then over here, we've got booze. 
But yeah, some whiskey, some baijo. Baijo is basically like the Chinese version of cheap vodka. And so most of these clear bottles are baijo and pretty cheap. They've got a little Mickey here, 18. So that's 18, that's about, I don't know, two, three bucks for this little Mickey. Here's the really um, cheap stuff for the people that need it cheap and quick. 450, so that's about 75 cents for a for a little Mickey of cheap Vigil. And then whiskey, various types of whiskey, Vigil of various qualities. The price can range quite a bit based on the quality. So from very, very I guess that's the same everywhere though. And then here you've got just some coffee, some beer, kind of typical. And then, yeah, we don't want to interrupt the biz of the shop, but we'll try to show you a little bit in the front as well. So here, um, the sort of staple cooking stuff, cooking oil and rice and eggs. <laughs> and then in the back of the back of the front counter, they've got cigarettes. Cigarettes, the more the more expensive alcohols and stuff. You can see there they've got Shivas Regal, Absolute Vodka, sort of Western brands, and some fancier wines. And then down here, these are these are some fancier baijo. So these are expensive baijo that they keep behind the counter. And then yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, here at the front, a bunch of different kinds of yogurt, single serving yogurt drinks that seem to be big sellers, so they come on a pallet for a quick sale by the box. And here again, just typical drinks, cooler, freezer, well, cooler with some beers and some other drinks. And here the regular sort of ice cream cooler, various different kinds of ice cream. And they've got haagen very, very expensive here. And some much more reasonably priced local stuff and there they've got a security system <laughs> and some different health certificates or whatever and a very friendly shopkeeper Hello. Hello. <laughs> and also just to sort of show you the front counter you can see the um, it's very common they do the the online payments here so everybody just uses their phone people don't use money very much anymore okay so yeah so that's that's our corner shop and you do quite a bit of our shopping here? Yes, yeah. I do. And uh, the good thing is that this lady uh, knows us, knows mm -hmm. our family. And I got her WeChat, so I can order from home anytime and they just deliver it to, right to my door. We usually brought, buy um, juice, drinks, um, yep. potato chips. Yep. <laughs> And, deli and yeah, we can't, we do come to the shop sometimes, but also, yeah, on WeChat and within, you know, a half hour or an hour, it'll be showing up at our door. One thing that you absolutely cannot find in any corner shops in China is bread. You have to go to a special dedicated bakery to find some bread. Usually it's um, a little bit sweet, uh, but you can find uh, not sweet bread as well. Mm -hmm. And in here, in here they've got what? They've got bread, but yeah, also... They have raw uh, 
Let's let's go over and take a look in the window over there. And for some reason also the bakeries it seems like bakery and milk and yogurt is the thing. Yeah. All together. Yes, and sometimes cheese and sandwiches. And you can see those rice triangles with the different kinds of fillings in them. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now flour just give it just what we were just saying, but now just you saying it to me, okay? About the milk, yogurt, da 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 and okay, so get ready. Yeah. <laughs> so usually um, the bakeries uh, don't just sell bread, they can also sell some yogurts and milk products and as you can see there in the freezer uh, some cream cheese and sandwiches and um, are those traditional uh, rice uh, wrapped in bamboo leaves with different filling stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, 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 good.